Shavua Tov. This week I would like to talk about the coming parasha Baalotcha, not only because it's my bar mitzvah parasha, because it happens to be one of the most interesting parashiot in the Torah. Today, both in Israel and the United States, there is a lot of criticism of our leaders, whether it's the president, the prime minister, senators, congressmen, members of Knesset. And I think that from this parasha, we can get a good example of what a leader should be. And of course, the leader par excellence was Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, our teacher. And it just so happens that in this parasha, you have six characteristics of his leadership, which I think can serve as, as an example for anyone who wants to be a Jewish leader. The first example of his leadership has to do with saying, lo yadati, I don't know. In the beginning of the parasha, in chapter 9, a group of Jews come to Moshe and they say, we were impure, we were tamay when they did Korban Pesach, what should we do? And Moses says to them, Imdu Stand here and I will hear what God will command you to do. In other words, I don't know the answer. I will go to a higher authority and ask for the answer. So the first khuna, the first characteristic of leadership, is saying, I don't know, I have to ask advice. The second characteristic is um, being willing to take advice from outside experts. And that is found in chapter 10, where Chotnosha uh, Moshe, where Moshe's uh, father-in-law uh, is about to leave, and Moshe says to him, Don't leave us. Because you know our camping in the wilderness, and you will be our eyes. In other words, I need your help as an outside expert to navigate through the wilderness. The third characteristic is that Moshe does not wish to lead the people alone, but rather with the help of a moetzetz kenim, of a group of elders. And there's the story found in chapter 11, where Moshe and God appoint a group of 70 elders to help him lead the Jewish people. The fourth characteristic is Moshe's lack of jealousy. You would think that a leader such as Moshe would not want others to share his leadership. And yet, when God gives prophecy uh, to uh, the leaders, the other leaders, and two of them, Eldad and Medad, continued to prophesy in the camp. And Yoshua, Moshe's trusty servant, is jealous and says, uh, why, shouldn't we shut up these two people? And Moshe says, Tali, are you jealous for me? Umi ten Would that the entire Jewish people were prophets, ki ten Adonai alehem, for God should give his spirit upon them. The fifth characteristic of Moshe as a leader is that he was very forgiving. And there are two examples in this week's parasha. The first is in chapter 11 in the story of Tavera, which means the burning. That the people had sinned and God is punishing them and Moshe forgives them. He calls out to God that, they, that God should forgive them and the fire subsides. And finally, we have the last and perhaps most important characteristic of Moshe Rabbeinu, and that is his humility. It says in chapter 12, And Moshe was more modest than any other human being on earth. And I think, therefore, from Parshat Baalotcha, we see here six characteristics of Moshe Rabbeinu as a leader, which can serve all of us as an example of the type of leaders that we wish to select, elect, choose, and I hope that this example will serve us not only this year, but for many years to come. Shavuot Tov.